Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the Toy Doctor. Today we've got something very exciting. We've got Marvel Legends, the first wave of the X-Men series. So on this one that we're gonna go through, we've got, we're gonna build Juggernaut, and we've got Wolverine, Katie Pry, Iceman, Havoc, Rogue, Phoenix, Cable, and then the coolest one yet, Deadpool. Let's open them up and see what's going on. All right, before we open them up, the boxes are amazing. Look at the artwork on the side of both of both the sides, actually. There's Wolverine, Katie Pry, Iceman, Havoc, which is Scott Summers' brother, Cyclops, and there's Rogue, the Phoenix, which is also Jean Grey, and we have Cable, which I'm very excited about because I haven't seen him in forever, and then Deadpool on the end there. And then each one on the back has some more artwork and a little description. It's Katie Pry. His mutant ability is to let things pass through her. Kind of invisible. Invincible. We got Iceman. We got Havoc. Comes with these really cool rings. Next up we got Rogue. You can fly with superhuman strength. Also, she can absorb any mutant's power with just a touch. Then we've got Phoenix, probably the strongest mutant of them all. Then we've got Cable, the time traveling cyborg. He's actually Phoenix's grandson. And then, last but not least, is Deadpool. Of course, it's got a little animated figure and some hearts in the end, of course, above him, which says, which says, I date me. And then all these guys come with a part of the juggernaut that we're going to build. Let's open them up. Alright, first up, we've got Wolverine with his brown and yellow costume on. Spin him around. He's got that animantium skeleton with the claws. Also, he's not the biggest fan of Deadpool because they're part of the Weapon X factory. Program, not factory. I haven't seen X-22 yet. Though she's probably in his new movie coming out. It also comes with these little hands that you can plug on that don't have the claws on. It comes with two of them. I want to switch them out. Now the claws are retracted. Oh boy. Now our claws are retracted. All right, next up we've got Shadow Cat or Kitty Pry. Wolverine also, before we jump into that, Wolverine came with Juggernaut's head, but we're gonna look at Juggernaut later. Here's a little preview. But we're building Juggernaut later. So, next up, let's see, Kitty Pride. All right, next up we've got Kitty Pride, who's also a shadow cat. She can run through walls, and her power is to turn pretty much invincible, where nothing hits her, nothing phases her. She has also got on her shoulder lock head, this little alien dragon that's besties with her. She's been in all three X-Men movies. I love the colors of these, it's kind of old school X-Men. Let's get a close-up of her. And then her little dragon can come off. Breeze fire. These guys move in every which way. These are pretty amazing toys because they're so detailed. 
other thing that came with her is Magneto's helmet. With some eyes going in there. Which, if you put on, could be Polaris, Magneto's daughter. But it doesn't actually fit her so well. And it kind of looks crazy. So, there you have it. All right, let's jump ahead, and next we've got Iceman. Next up we've got Iceman, also known as Bobby in all the movies. He's pretty detailed and really neat because he's got the ice all over him. He bends and moves in every which way. Game of Juggernaut's leg. He's got the power to transform himself into this and then back to a human. And then shoot all kinds of ice all over the place. He's the younger kid played in all the three X-Men movies. Oh, I don't know. He wasn't in the third one. Oh, he wasn't. I'm thinking of something else. Not the new ones. But X-Men did Future's Past. Alright, let's get a close-up of him. This is back, which is all detailed, which does peel back. Push it forward. Looks like ice. His hands are really cool. Got a little shards of ice on him. Yeah, these guys are 20 bucks each, but you see why. Plus, you get to build a figure. But they are amazing. Way better than the ones I had when I was a kid. All right, next up, let's check out Havok. All right, next up we've got Havok, which is Scott Summers' brother. Shoots energy beams from his hands, just like Cyclops does from his eyes. I really like this costume. It's got like a new costume that they have for him. Cyclops kind of has a similar one, only it covers his eyes. This beam up here. Havok Summers. He was in the last three movies of uh, X Men. First class. So he's got these energy beams, balls, I guess you could say, that come off. Both hands. He moves every which way. Does also in the movies, he shoots stuff out of his chest. In the comics, Kind of can control it better than Scott Summers with Cyclops. And there we have Hammer. Alright, next up we have got Rogue, who looks amazing. Alright, so here we've got Rogue. He looks just like the 90s comics. The color and the detail of this toy is amazing. With the jacket, the little X on her shoulder, the X on her chest. Let's get a close up view of her. She's got the white hair. Her belt moves. Jacket stays on though. You can kind of bend it back if you have to. It just looks so realistic. Also, comes with a hand that's free without a glove on it, so if we had to touch anybody to absorb all their powers, like she does, she's able to. She got a little bandana. You really did a good job on this one. Alright, next up, let's check out the Phoenix. All right, here we've got the Phoenix, also known as Jean Grey. Can, can control stuff with her mind. She's smaller than the rest. That red hair, Phoenix logo on her chest. Probably the strongest mutant of them all. Let's take a close up look at her.
She's married to Scott Summers, who's also Cyclops, who's also Havoc's brother. Belt moves. Get her hands open. Dude, all these are so detailed. Looks fantastic. She came with Juggernaut's chest. Don't forget we're building Juggernaut. But we're gonna see all of his stuff at the end. All right, last two, which are the best by far, is Cable and Deadpool. We're both gonna be in Deadpool 2 coming up. Let's check out Cable first. All right. Now, here we've got Cable, the time traveler. We all know, hates apocalypse, more than anything. We had a virus that almost killed him as a baby. So they sent him in the future so he can get this cyborg arm. Comes with these two guns. Also the leader of the X-Force, which I hope the movie comes out soon. Also, he's been an X-Man. He's kind of buddies with Deadpool, kind of not. So, this clip also comes out, which is super neat. The bullets. Take a close-up look at him. The thing that's really cool is I've never seen this cyborg on the face before. I've had like four of these toys growing up. His armor is very detailed. He's got a few bullet holes in there. He's got the scar above his eye. Here's his one gun. Fingers even on the trigger. Here's the other one. Nice little machine gun. Belt moves. We got patches all back here. Boots are really cool. This is probably the best one I've ever seen. And my favorite in the series. Deadpool does come with some pretty cool stuff you're about to see. He's got the X on his arm for X-Force. Alright, now Last but not least, let's check out Deadpool. All right, and last but not least, Deadpool, Wade Wilson, part of the Weapon X program. And he comes with more toys than anybody, and he did not, him and Cable did not come with a piece of Juggernaut. So let's just do a little spin Got some ninja swords in the back. We've got a bazooka with a boxing glove on the end of it. We've got a knife at the side. We've got a little grenade launcher. We've got a little sniper gun. So let's check him out all in his glory. He's very detailed. He comes with all these toys, all accessibles. Swords do come out, which we're gonna play with in a second. Bazooka detaches. Sniper rifle. A little shotgun maybe. Two handguns. Right there. The other's right here. A little knife on the bottom that comes out. Our two ninja swords come out. Also comes with his actual face. Pop this off. Pop this guy on. Sometimes I don't really want to pop on. Come on, there it is. Now he's got this little creepy face, which is actually what it's like in the movies. We 
But all these are so detailed. This guy's loaded though, he's great. Because he's a nut. So this comes out. Also, let's not forget about his taco that comes with, because I guess he loves tacos. So, to pop this guy out. Throw the bazooka in. And it's got tacos and bazookas. And he moves in every which way. Bazooka punches out. I wonder if we took off the hand and put the punching bag on it. No, his hands don't come out. How does his hands not come out? Oh, weird. Let's check him out with his swords. Swords pull out. This guy is just loaded. He's got the taco, the machine guns, a bazooka, two swords, two handguns, a knife, I'm gonna pull these out, throw in a gun, a nine millimeter. Also got the knife over here. There's that Wade Wilson. Now let's build the juggernaut. Here's the juggernaut pieces. Let's pop them together. Here's our build a juggernaut. He's a monster. His fists are closed. These guys are so cool when they come this big. Like when we, I've got a sentinel that we built. The unstoppable juggernaut. Which nothing hurts him. When I grew up in the comics, he got his powers from a tablet and he wasn't a mutant, but I think now they changed him into a mutant. He's also the brother of Charles Xavier, or the stepbrother of Xavier. He was going to be in uh, Days of Future's Past, but they didn't go with him. They went with um, Quicksilver to use that scene, I read. The Unstoppable Juggernaut. He bends in every which way, just like the rest of them. He's a freaking monster. Let's the bolt his head to get down. Show you how detailed he is. I wonder if Magneto said can go in here. <laughs> Back to our juggernaut. Let's compare him to Wolverine. You know, that's how much bigger he is. So I think with all these X-Men though, they could take them. Let's check out everybody. How short Wolverine is compared to everybody. So here's our X-Men Wave 1 of Marvel Legends. Build the Juggernaut. We've got Wolverine, Cable's Beast, Iceman, Rogue, Havoc, Phoenix, Deadpool's pretty big. Shadow Cat. And then back to the root. And then Juggernaut in the back. He's a monster. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the Toy Doctor. More toys to come. Thanks again.